Hi, I'm Connor Maloney, and this is my online econ budget project. Uh, for my monthly income, I sh used my bachelor to earn my bachelor's degree, where I earned three thirty-three dollars an hour to get five thousand two hundred fifty dollars per month. My expenses uh, for my income tax, which is a thirty percent, I pay one thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars in income tax. Uh, for food, I chose groceries and lunch out twice a week, which was three hundred dollars. Housing, I chose a one-bedroom, one-bath studio apartment for $1,000. Uh, utilities was $100 for the apartment. Clothing was $200. Entertainment and vacations was $100. Health insurance was $200. Long-term savings was $450. Grooming was $100. And for transportation, I chose a Ford Focus because it's a practical and fuel-efficient car with a good record of reliability, um, which means I'm not going to have to pay for maintenance as often. Uh, maintenance is going to cost about $200. Uh, my car loan payment was $258 per month. Uh, I got my car insurance from GEICO uh, at $128 per month. My car gets about 30 miles per gallon, so I'll spend about $300 a month on gas. Uh, my total monthly expenses total were $4,911, meaning that my monthly budget out of $5,270, subtract the $4,911 in expenses, I have $339 left over. Uh, reflection questions. Budgets are beneficial because they help people plan their monthly incomes based on the amount that they earn, and uh, they prevent people from spending too much money in one month, which would result in debt, in debt and also allow people to save for the future. Uh, for the second one, there's a direct correlation between income and education. The higher education you attain, um, the higher your income, is what studies show. Uh, I will definitely be making a budget after I graduate just to ensure that I do not overstep my means. Uh, by making a budget, I'll ensure that I don't plunge myself into debt and um, just put myself in a bad financial situation. This project's been very important to me in that it's really shown me how little extra money people have um, just because the cost of living is so high. So if you really want to have extra money, you need to be making a lot of money. You have to, your income has to be very big. Um, and then as to how do I account for health insurance, to pay for health insurance, I had to cut down on superfluous things. Uh, things that, although I'd like to spend money on them, are not necessary to live. Uh, in this way, I understand why some people, especially young people, are mad about having to pay for health insurance as it takes away from things that we would rather spend money on, like vacations and going out and getting food and uh, things like that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and thank you.